My name's Aaron Croman, and I'm going to show you how to put screen tone dots on your art in Photoshop. Okay, so we have our picture, and uh, we want to have it all nice and screen toned. So we're going to go up to Filter, Sketch, and onto Half Tone Paper. So we bring up our filter uh, menu. And you know, this is a good place to sell it, but you can adjust it and make it a little bit zoomed in or zoomed out, see what's going on. Though it takes a little bit longer since it's doing a lot more. And uh, so, yeah, so, so far we can see it's kind of black and white and it kind of uses little dots. Uh, so pretty simple, but let's explore uh, this uh, filter a lot more in depth. Uh, you can also use a different pattern such as uh, circles uh, to do the uh, toning. Taking a little while longer with the big image. So just kind of little circles, circular uh, movement. Uh, then there's also lines, kind of a hatching. So just kind of see the lines. Now using the halftone pattern filter, uh, it takes what your foreground and background color are and uses those in order to get the best mix of coloration for your uh, picture. And then of course what we want is dots. So I'll just wait for it to load up and there we go. And uh, we can uh, adjust the size of the dots. We can make them real big, uh, so big that it might lose a lot of the uh, information. So yeah, something like this. We can up the contrast till it's uh, just little kind of black and white blobs. Or we can lower it until it's kind of more gray and median. Uh, but we want it to look more dotty, so. Just kind of put it down the middle. Okay, maybe a little less contrast. Allow those grays to come in. And knock down the size a little so, so we can get our detail. And that's fine. And there we go. Kind of looks like a newspaper article. Uh, something maybe you scanned out of a newspaper. Uh, if you really wanted to make it look like that, you can even maybe uh, make things a little bit grayer or so. Uh, maybe put down a, a solid color with the uh, adjustment layer. Just have a light gray and put it to multiply. And it looks just like it was on a newspaper. My name is Aaron Croman. Good luck with your art.